Well, today's video, we're going to show you how to season your cooktop on a 28-inch uh, Blackstone griddle. And one of the first steps we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, clean the griddle real well. And then we're going to bring it up to temp, burn it in a little bit, and start adding in the uh, griddle seasoning. It's for a, it's actually a cast iron conditioner. Well, what we're going to be using today is the Blackstone griddle seasoning it's a six and a half five ounce 6.5 ounce container griddle two in one formula protects and seasons your griddle griddle first thing we're going to do though is we're going to clean this old griddle top off you got to be clean before you start applying any of that stuff now i know we're probably going to have some background noise guys but there's not much i can do about that so you clean this real well. So I guess you call it a polymer, polymer finish or coating. Clean it all the way around. Inside now. Wasn't that dirty, but you gotta clean it real well. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna fire this thing up. We're gonna make this old griddle a kind of a bluish, grayish blue color, and then we'll start applying the actual uh, seasoning. Now, when you get ready to fire this up for the first time, keep in mind that you're gonna have some air in the lines. So the first time you turn that knob up here on the front, it may not light. Uh, you may have to turn it past the, the light section, which is a section here you just mash and push in. It's an auto, auto igniter. You, know, you may have to get that purge the lines of any air and then the, the pit will go ahead and start lighting like it should be uh, once it does that. Now we got this thing running, we're going to let it heat up, uh, start changing color and we'll be right back to show you where we're at at that point. Now just for the fun of it, I went over there and I got this old infrared red gun. And uh, I want to see, we've had it running now about a minute or so. We're going to see how hot this uh, griddle actually gets and how long it takes to get there. We're going to shoot the middle of it right there right now. Showing to be 238, 242. We're going to shoot the middle a little further over. Showing to be 240, 241. We're going to shoot the corner over here. Let me clean. The corner showing to be 235. The corner to the right top 211, 208. The corner right here. 192 and the corner over there is 148 now you can see right here in this area it's starting to change color starting to discolor on us all the way across here right in these areas so far that looks like it's going to be the hottest section 343 still a little cooler over there so it's not running real even but we'll monitor it as we go along and we'll keep you informed of the changes. Now we made it a little bit further into the process of preheating this uh, griddle. And uh, according to Blackstone, the low to medium range is 300 degrees Fahrenheit to 325. The high is 425 to 450. And the very high is 450 to 550 degrees Fahrenheit. And then of course, medium uh, is 375 to 400. Now I doubt that very seriously you'll ever cook at 550 degrees on this griddle unless you're doing a steak and you want to crisp it up real fast. But uh, we're going to let it get a little warmer. Well the temperature right now is about 495 degrees, 504 there, I say five, 487. Now I'm, I'm shooting right in these hot spots, 495, 511, 466 and it's going to be a lot cooler on these outer edges but we're going to turn them down just a little bit and we're going to start applying the conditioner we're going to turn them back down now to kind of a medium so there's not a lot of heat coming around the edges out of it and i won't get burned doing this process put a little bit of this stuff around there 
then take you a paper towel or something similar and you don't want to let this stuff puddle up on there and don't burn yourself doing this because this stuff is pretty hot right now try to do as even as you possibly can which is merely impossible and put a little bit more on there so I'm going to turn them down just a little bit more now you're going to see them burning up pretty good there. All right, part of the process. I want to take you some tongs, which makes it a lot easier. The old paper probably catch fire in a little while. You even want to try to get the outside of it if possible, like we're doing there. Wasn't sure if the video was taken there or not. It's tough when you're a one-man band. All the way around, outside. Now let that burn off a little bit, then you're going to repeat the process. Oh, you may want to do it three or four times. The uh, manufacturer says you can do it up to five times after that. Pretty much wasting your time. And while we're uh, taking a break here, let me reach out and thank you all for watching this video. Uh, we're a small channel. Uh, we'd really appreciate you hit the like subscribe button uh, we're going to be doing a lot more cooking videos uh, when it comes to this in particular we've got some out there already on the, that we're using on you know using a regular barbecue pit on live fire cooking we're going to be putting a lot more out there so we'd appreciate you hit the like subscribe button uh, it really helps that channel get out there and reach other people that may be trying to find this video otherwise youtube will not get it out there for us we need your help as a uh, you know a person watching these videos as a creator we can't make you like something but we can ask that you hit the like subscribe to help us promote the video I see it's starting to set in right now so we're gonna go a second round I'm gonna put some more of this we're gonna start in the corner over there I'll put a little on this corner over here then we're gonna grab our rag and we're gonna start doing the same thing you gotta watch it because it'll get in that tray in the back and just drip right out of there. I think the key ingredient is making sure it's hot enough for this stuff to actually uh, bond to the surface. Create some kind of like a polymer film on the griddle to where it will actually uh, last a lot longer and not rust. Do the outside again. Once the smoke process normally stops, that means you got it sealed up and then put you another coat on it. Now you're going to see a lot of smoke come off of it just like we do here. Uh, don't worry about that, that's just the stuff setting in. Uh, once it burns off, then you'll put you another coating on there. What I do like about this process you will surely find out where the hot spot is on the grill. It's right here in this area. Now we're inside a building uh, at the front door open and the wind is kind of blowing it that direction. But even so, it's pretty much a good mark of where most of the heat is and where you're going to want to cook the hottest part of the griddle. From here to here, here to here, a little more right there in the middle and kind of isolated spots on the end on the on this black stone. Uh, I believe they call this 1885. Now I've changed the angle of it and maybe you can see that griddle a little bit better. I'm going to put another, another dab of this stuff on there. 
we're going to take our little piece of cotton rag here run it across there one more time you see how the little thing smokes up real quick I think it's uh, probably the most important thing seasoning the, the griddle top if you don't it won't last as long as you really need it to some people probably skip this step however I think it's really important that you do this step and you pay for something you want it to last as long as you possibly can I'm really surprised that old rag hadn't caught fire yet but so far so good next thing you're gonna see we're gonna be cooking up some fajitas some chicken or some fish on this little so we'll see how it really works out so make sure you hit that like subscribe button uh, we'll let you know how this thing cooks Let me get the old video over here. Again, I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching the video on how to cure your griddle, especially your Blackstone uh, 1885. Now there's a 1836s. I'm sure there's all kinds of numbers out there. However, we're doing it 1885, but the process is probably going to be the same on all of them. Thanks for watching. Stick around for our next videos. Hit that like, subscribe button.